Hey right, foresters, uh, I'm kind of excited this morning. Um, we're going to be moving stuff around in our little sitting area in front of the house because my uncle, my uncle Wayne, gave me a couple smokers. One of them, well, both of them, I'm pretty excited about, but there's one that I've been wanting a while, and that's uh, a Pit Boss. Now, this is a Pit Boss 820D. It's a few years old. It's like two or three years old. Um, but it works great. I've already fired it up, testing it out. Um, I ran it through a heat treat because it had been sitting there with a little bit of rust in there. And, you know, because it's been sitting a while, I just wanted to get the grates cleaned up. And I fired it up this morning and got it hot enough to where I could really clean the grates good. Gave the grates a good scrubbing. So they look good now. And he even gave me the thing is like three quarters of the way full of pellets. So I don't even have to buy pellets to, to test it out with. So I'm excited. I mean, he, he, and he didn't even know it was my birthday. He gave it to me. <laughs> so this is like the best surprise birthday present I could possibly get because I have been wanting one of these for a couple of years now. And Amy can keep telling me to wait, wait, you don't need it. Your smoker works good. So, uh, <laughs> I got one anyways. Ha! <laughs> And Let's go to the other one. This is one that he had made. He took an, an older barrel smoker and uh, took some of the pieces from it and took a tank off of an air compressor and he made a smoker. My uncle's a welder. So he welded it up. There's rags in there. Yeah, I'll clean that up. Okay. I'm going to do oh, it. You, he, okay, you just haven't cleaned it. You haven't cleaned out this one yet, then. No, I haven't cleaned out this one. I'm going to do a test burn on it today, too. Okay. Um, I don't think he used it too much. Mm -hmm. I know he, he burnt out the initial oils and stuff like that that was in it from the air compressor. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do another burn on it just so that I can get it all cleaned up and get the... I mean, there's like little... Yeah. Of, you know, stuff in here from the, those darn stinging caterpillars. But I'll start a little fire in there and a fire in here and I'll do a, a good burnout on it. Because um, this is going to what I'm going to... Because this is big enough for me to roast a small pig in and stuff like that. So this will be for my bigger stuff. Mm -hmm. um, that'll be for like the everyday stuff. I could sear steaks in that. And then I also still have my other smoker over there, which I will be using Sunday to smoke some more bacon. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can do a video on that too. Mm -hmm. But uh, I just wanted to share this. I'm kind of excited. This is a great... Uh, so now where do you plan on placing these two? Well, that's why I'm clearing out some of these banana trees and plantains. I'll dig up some of this ginger. We'll have to move the sprinkler system then. Yeah, I'm going to cut it back because I got a plug on it here. So I'll cut it back and move it back here because I'm going to put the big smoker here. Mm hmm. And then my two other smokers are going to go here. And we have to clean up the vines. They'll be far enough away from the house. I don't have to worry about it. But now, where now th is this a plantain? No, that is an ice, ice cream banana. So you moved the plantains already? Yeah, well, the plantains, I got them over here. I just trimmed the leaves off of them. I'm going to plant them in our banana patch. Okay. Our big banana patch. I just got to clean this area up a little bit. I'm going to put some of those blocks down. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, so it doesn't that I can sink. Get these. Amy said I couldn't smoke anything in them until I uh, got them where they belong. Yeah, because I don't need them left all over the place. She's put her foot down. <laughs> So I got, well, seriously, I mean, I, I want to, I want to plant stuff this winter over here, but I can't if there's a smoker there. She got a point. <laughs> but so we're gonna, I'm gonna be doing this today. Plus, I'm going to be cleaning out the old front garden. Yes, we got our plans. I think this is gonna be a big, a yeah. big change of plans for us. We're we're going to be starting a nursery. 
and that's going to be a staging area for our nursery mm -hmm. so we're kind of excited about that and uh so i'll show you once we get a little bit more done Oh no, that's still a baby. Yeah. And then we got the ones over here. Can we even see that one? That one's got a little ways well, to go yet. Still. I don't. Yeah, how, wow, that looks well, really plump, though. Yeah, but see how pointy the edges are. Oh yeah. And it could just go a little bit longer. Alrighty. Here's the little mishap one, I call it. <laughs> mishap. That's a weird one. It, that one. Well, she's not, this banana tree is not even a year old, or it's just a little over a year old. I know, it's really weird. I think it, I think with all the rain it just produced for I some reason. I don't think reason. it's quite even a year old. Yeah. And then we got a banana bloom coming up over here by Laura's window. Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah, see the flag leaf? Yeah. Look at that. Oh, let me climb the mountain here. Oh, see, that's a flag leaf, guys. Yeah, I hope that one produces by the time. It always, there is a point, is the, oops. Because this is one of the mystery bananas that somebody gave me. Yeah, normally you can see, I can't see it yet. Yeah, that, that's got a flag leaf on it. Yeah, I have no clue what I'll, type of bananas that's going to be. Yeah, this is the mysterious ones. But yeah, the flag leaf will always be the shortest out of all of them before the bloom comes out. Okay, so Donald has been very busy without me. Look at this. We got the table. The umbrella. He's got the. Uh, oops, let me get out of the way. So he's getting ready to uh, smoke some stuff. We got this over here, and we were going to put down plastic, but um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to. Um, here's his main grill, and there's the big one, all under blocks. You know what we could do, honey? What? We could take all those little red bricks and put them in between these big ones. I want to get rock. Rock? Yeah, little rocks. Okay. You just dump them in between there. And let the rocks fill in the gaps. Hey, I can hear you. Rocks, huh? Yep. That way I can tell you to go outside and kick rocks. Really? <laughs> I'm going to tell you what you can kick. <laughs> oh, did you see these banana trees growing up in the fire bush? Yes. We're going to have to move those. So, he's uh, going to town right now. It is just, it's gotten hot out here. Uh, we don't have the cover of shade anymore because the sun is directly above us now. All right, then in here is the front half. And Donald was able to weed whack this whole area. Look at this, guys. We're getting ready to tear this up. We're going to leave the post there because that's what the sprinkler head was on. And because we are still going to use this to house... Um, Plants plants we're still going to need some type of water sprinkler system but you know are these low quats even producing i think those are the blooms for next year the low quats the year with that. and then he here is the bananas we planted this past spring they're all coming up to help produce uh 
shade on this side for the house. Um, we are going to have to uh, hand weed. Here's the sour sap. And then we got the mangoes. But also, too, we found several cranberry hibiscus growing. So we're going to transplant those into pots and reproduce them. But look how good this, we, we lost everything growing in here. Oh, wow. So that one's ready. Look at that rack. Wow. That is really nice. Isn't there another, um, another one over there? Yeah, but it's not ready yet. It's not ready yet? Okay, so. It's getting there, but it's not quite. Hold it's on. It's a weird little one, too. It's just so nice to walk in here. Is there another one on the end? No, because I already got that one. You got that one? And we've been slowly planting in here. So, where's the other rack at? It's a little weird rack. Oh, I see it on the back side. Yeah. See right you can see the flower right there, the bloom hanging down low. Alright, so Donald's going to chop down this tree so we can hang the rack in our house. Careful the fence. Ooh. I did that on purpose. That's a big old wreck. Are you able to reach the bloom on that one so we can cut it off? It's not ready yet. Well, the bloom is like all oh, the way I'm not down. About it. Yeah. That's a weird little one. Okay. You want me to hold it? Yeah. Toss it. Ooh. Oh, I missed. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Holy crap, it's heavy. Wow. Oh, that is heavy. That's a heavy mama. That is heavy. Holy cow. There you go. And then we just uh, do the chop and drop. So Donald will uh, toss it over the fence. Careful the moringa. And we just let it decompose there. It'll uh, put nitrogen back into the ground which will help the other banana trees. And this time of year during the fall, we will not cut off the dead leaves. We let them hang and cover the bark because winter is coming. And the, those uh, banana leaves protect the stalk from frost. So we just let the, uh, You'll see us uh, just bending the leaves back and letting them hang for the season. That's a pretty good rack, honey. Yeah, man. Let me finish cutting down this. Stop. And he's going to cut down the rest of it. We're going to have to plant more moringa. This year it didn't produce as well as I thought it would. These are all that produce. So normally we get stalks that are bigger than the house, but this year they didn't go quite as well. And I didn't get any seed pods. So, but they're established even when the frost comes, the moringa plant will die back, but it will always come back the next year. So that's the good thing about it. Um, 
So, but all in all, and here's the moringa flowers. So one rack, huh? Yeah. Alrighty. But that's a nice one. But that, yeah, and it's heavy. It is really heavy too. So those are gonna be some plump, plump bananas. Yeah, they're gonna make some beautiful bananas. Yeah. We'll probably be eating those. They ain't gonna last freezing. <laughs> Here, put your cover on. Yeah. I say we did pretty good today. Yeah. Um, weed whacking, we now have to dig up all of the tarps or the, uh, the black landscaping tarps. And then we're going to tear out this and this whole area is going to get tilled. We are going to till it and tarp it because we want this to be the area that we are going to start our little nursery. And this will be more like the staging area. Um, we're gonna go into detail more in another video about this. Um, but for those of you that are curious, um, even though we do have a nursery license now, we are not doing any plants. We are not selling um, unless it's to, um, unless it's like special events right now, because we don't have an inventory. I mean, as you can tell, there's nothing here. <laughs> so, but we will be doing a separate video on that for you guys to let you know exactly what our plans are, how we're going to run this business, and um, what we can do for customers at a different time. So just stay tuned. It's probably, um, the video is probably going to happen a few, probably a month or two from now to keep an eye out for that. Oh, the sun is just in my eyes. Can't see where I'm looking at. But, um, yeah, so it, it's one of those where we're just going to, uh, go with the flow and, um, we will give everybody details on how we're going to be doing this nursery here. Missy! You're looking rough. Are you loose? Are you? <laughs> Ooh, you too. What's up? You guys are molting? Is it that time? You are looking pretty rough there, Missy. Come on, guys. Let's go. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> 